What's up everybody, Ryan Dieger here. And today we're gonna to be looking at how you can make one button effects buildups using any MIDI controller and some MIDI mapping tricks inside of Tractor. Now, this is great for having a very set it and forget it mapping so you're not tweaking, you know, trying to find the right effects for, you know, that moment of inspiration. So grab a MIDI controller, grab some tea if you like, and let's get into it. So as you can see, I've got the controller manager window open here and I've got the uh, sample map that we're gonna include uh, at the bottom of the article so that you can download it and quickly give it a try with any of your controllers. There's three important things that you really need to have in place for this mapping to work. First thing that you need is the button to quickly select uh, the effect that you want to load. So in this in this example mapping, if I press this button, it's going to immediately load the uh, refer reverb into a single effects mode. And then the next thing that you want to do is uh, you want to make sure that the knobs on in the effects here load to uh, to the right settings. So if I press this again, these knobs are going to snap to this value here. And through experimentation, this is what I found worked really well for this kind of uh, build up mapping. All right, and the third and final thing, and it's the most important for this mapping, is to go to your knob here and make sure that the type of controller is set to button, and then interaction mode is either set to increase or decrease. And that's going to make the knob either build up or break down, depending on what, what it's set to. And then you want to make sure that auto repeat is checked on here. And what that's going to do is let you hold the button and slowly increase the uh, knob or decrease it depending on this interaction mode. And how much it increases or decreases depends on the resolution here. So I've got it set to fine, so as you can see it's giving a nice, you know, slow build up. If you go to something like coarse, it's really quick. Uh, so really play with that. Uh, you can experiment with it. I found fine to work best. But again, it's all up to you and whatever works for you. Let's see it in action. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial on how to create your own one button effects buildups using any MIDI controller and tractor. And I encourage you to experiment with this mapping and to find your own effects combinations and uh, buildups and breakdowns that'll work for your set. So for more DJ tips and tricks, keep an eye on djtechtools.com.